<laughs> anyway, man, we're going to be getting into our first game here. And, man, I'm super excited. Look at some of these, some of these characters you're going to be getting on here. I like a that. Jigglypuff with a wolf. That's actually kind of interesting. So here we go. Keen and Smash Puff 64. Okay. That's, that's what I like to hear, man. We about to get real, real uh, physical in this. And then on the other side, we got Ace Endeavor and Coca Colton. Okay, that was a, a very scary situation. I think he actually got his teammate with that thing, but also uh, one of the enemies. So it's kind of like, what do I do here? And it didn't matter because Zelda came through with that there. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, looking to get a little bit of uh, risque uh, Smash Puff 64 with uh, these moves. Did a, a, a sing earlier, tried to go for a rest. But so far, Kind of even percent brisket. No, I, I called it brisket. My bad. Ace Endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> you know hey. what? I'm going to say it right now. Brisket's a better tag. <laughs> no, no, no hate. But uh, damn, okay. I saw the reflect there on the night actually sending it right back at Ace Endeavor. Uh, just, you know, making them take that damage here. Okay, a little, uh, little smash sandwich right here on the right. Uh, Coco Colton kind of getting juggled right now in the middle of them both. Zelda's really going to be dead currently, but what Zelda's going to be really useful for is kind of that support, that interference, and using things like Knight to cover like the bottom end of the stage, right? Yeah. To cover either either side of the stage uh, for that uh, space control. But right now, um, oh, only one stock to go on Coca Colton. Coca Colton trying to be the tank. Uh -oh. But unfortunately, that's not going to fly, but saving them, Ace Endeavor, well done. I mean, that actually probably helped out Keen a little bit there because, you know, Wolf being off stage, especially against Zelda, and how much resources she has to stop people like Wolf from getting back to stage. Honestly, landing that thing probably helped uh, Keen stay alive a little bit longer here. But, yeah, we have had the stocks flying all over the place, and we got Coca Colton. I believe that's Coca Colton. I don't know which one's which because they're both called brisket. <laughs> Somebody's hungry, apparently. Yeah. Somebody's hungry for a, a victory right here. Smash Puff 64 not going to be out of the blast zone yet, but with a restock, it's going to be looking uh, pretty, pretty good for the yellow team. Yeah, man. Right now, we got Keen trying to help, uh, help out Smash Puff 64 here, trying to put these stocks to bed. And this is actually what uh, Smash Puff has been doing really, really well. Uh, I don't know the name of the, the Roy player. It's just Brisket Other Heart. <laughs> but uh, they've honestly been beating the hell out of them. Uh, they landed like four different things on them in just this game alone. Yeah, uh, the 1v1 situations have not really been looking that great for the yellow team, and it's really because I uh, like Smash Bros. 64 and Keen seem really, really adept in like the separation, but what a good play from Ace Endeavor to get that kill in, in such a clutch moment, and it's trying to go back to back with the Knight. So yeah. if they manage to just stay alive, they might have a chance that they can get this, uh, this kill on Keen! But Smash Bros. 64 with the dash attack, Gonna uh, snuff out that dream of a, of a comeback. Yeah, I was about to mention, you know, it was doable as long as they didn't lose the stock. I mean, because it's just a three stock to two situation. But look at these guys. They are actually on point with some of their combos. But I like that. Just go off with the Nair. Even though you got the reverse hit, put them right underneath PS2. No way Roy can recover from that angle. So great stuff from Smash Puff 64 and Keen to get started. A little too much separation going on yeah. right here uh, between uh, uh, Ace Endeavor and uh, their teammate. A little bit too much separation and, like, Smash Puff and Keen are really taking that to their advantage. They're like, hey, look, like if they want to do 1v1s on each side of the stage, it looks like we can both hold our own in that aspect. So we can definitely take it to that level if they want. However, right, once we saw Ace Endeavor uh, and their teammate get it together and really like start to support each other in, in these big scramble moments, we saw that they were able to kind of pull it back, but it was too little too late. Mm. Well, I mean, we'll see what stage we're going to be going to next. Right now, uh, Keen, Smash Club 64, looking pretty solid here. Keen actually made a pretty decent run at SmashCon this past weekend. Uh, I believe they went like 4-2, 5-2 or something like that. I mean, but when you got a, a tournament that big, like 3,000-plus people on that type of thing, I mean, I mean that's, that's still not too bad. He had to fight some pretty uh, tough people to get in that position too. But either way, uh, this is not about last weekend. This is about here and now. And I think we're going right back to PS2 here. With a switch. Right here, with the switch right here, the uh, the Pokemon trainer might be better suited uh, to deal with this wolf. Yeah. I mean, you got Ivysaur who just provides so many different tools and options as it is, right? And then in, in a pinch, you can switch right over to Charizard. You got all that additional kill power to try and really make things work. But my goodness, Smash Club 64 not even worrying about who you got in the screen. They're going to find a way to take that stock super early. They tried another punish there. They definitely heard you. And, uh, <laughs> and they heard me. They said, all right, so, so watch this. Literally, like, what was crazy about that exchange right there between Keen and Smash Puff is that even though they were in the middle of the scramble, they still continued their, like, pressure on uh, <laughs> on uh, on Coca Colton like that and able to get that kill. So very well done. And there we go. We got Jigglypuff and Squirtle trying to battle it out here on the left side here. 
All right, I like that, put a little bit of pressure out there. But man, Smash Puff 64, they are looking to bully uh, Brisket off stage like, as much as possible. I mean, we saw them land a rest earlier. Uh, no, that was actually on the Ivysaur, excuse me. Yeah. But they have been sniping out these recovery attempts from them a few times now, so they have to be very <gasps> no careful. Way. Is that a double stock? I was going to say, he overshot the side B and uh, got punished for it so bad, nearly died for it. And it's this air mobility that Jigglypuff has that's really been playing a play into the team for Smash Club. Yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> going for the rollout here. <laughs> yep, does find a way to land that hit. I mean, nothing super crazy, but still, just throwing out the rollout. Sometimes that's just the mental damage you need just to kind of get things started. All right, so a little stock loss right here for the, for the Keen team. Ace Endeavor and Coca Cola trying right here. Pull it together. Keen uh, being the uh, the tank of the yellow team right now. And as I say, that finally dying, but still a lot of percentage on that uh, on that red team. Lots of percentage. And there you go. Smash Bros. 64. They actually looked for that up air at one point. Decided they weren't going to commit to that. I thought they were going to look for that background, the Charizard, but they decided, hey, I'm just going to get back to stage, meet back up with my teammate. We're going to put this pressure down. Okay, I like that. Just going for the back throw instead. They could have obviously gotten some sort of team combo, but I think they just opted for the safer option here. Wow, and just uh, these hits not killing the, the team, just not killing the red team just yet. But uh, is this back throw going to do it? No, tries to go for the team combo instead. I mean, I like that though. I mean, even though they're not getting like the craziest damage right now, the, the, con the fact that they're looking for these combos are actually huge. Uh, we did have one in that game one too that kind of volleyballed uh, the Roy player here back and forth a little bit. But. Okay, goes back to Stormy here and add, oh, I, wow, yep. Ooh, does he take the stock though? I mean, your teammates at 182, do you let them have it? Looks like he's gonna let them have it, not actually. No, takes it at such a weird moment. Yeah, like I felt like if he, he got punished incorrectly and then yeah. with a vibe like, okay, I'm gonna share stock right here and that is a compound interest stock loss. Oh my God. Yeah, definitely a bit of a weird scenario there. And yeah, now it just turns into a 2v1 situation. It's exactly what we saw last game too. Okay, well, make a clip out of him. We know you want to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we know what you want, so like, go for it, bro. Yeah, you know what? This is actually kind of doable right here. I mean, right now, I mean, you just gotta take the stock off Keen, and they're at 110, right? Charizard has the hit power to be able to do this. Never mind, man. Get him out of here! My goodness. <laughs> man, these combos put me to sleep. Whew.